Hey everyone, I'm Susie from the Warsaw Library, and today's craft is this cute stained glass apple. So, in your bag that you can pick up upstairs starting on September 22nd, you will have two red pieces this size. That is for your outline of your apple. This smaller apple, which will be to cut the middle out of your pieces. And then you will have a green leaf, which is here. And then a brown stem, which is there. The plastic that you will use to glue so you can have the stained glass look. And then all of your little tissue paper that's gonna go in the inside of there. I'm gonna put these back in here because as you can see, they like to stick. So you will need a pencil to trace with, scissors to cut with, glue stick, and then a black marker or pen, or you can even use a pencil, but that's just to make some lines on your leaf and your stem. So let's get started. First of all, you want to take the smaller apple and put it on your bigger apple. You know, try to line it up the best you can in the middle Trace around. It's okay if you write on that middle part. If you get some on the outside, just erase it. That's what's good about pencil. Do that to both pieces. To get this started cutting, I would suggest take your scissors and take your paper and fold it. Okay, not fold it where it makes a crease, just fold it over like this. And then take your scissors and the very tip of your scissors at your line, just make a little cut like that. See, it's just a small one, but that gives you the opportunity to get your scissors in here and starting to be able to cut the middle out. And then just follow your lines as best you can. Go slow if you need to. If you need a little bit of help, maybe you have a, a parent or a brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, somebody that maybe can help you cut out the middle. But really, once you get that started, it's, it's not too hard. And then you can put your piece aside, pick up the second one, do the same thing. Now, you're going to want to take your plastic and you're going to want to take your glue stick and put 
put glue all along the edge of one of your apple pieces. And then you're going to want to lay down your plastic. Now, if you have two pieces of plastic, which I believe most of the bags do, just put down the one piece right now. So if I cut this in half, then I'm just going to use the one piece. And it's okay if it goes over the sides in places because we're going to trim that up. And then just take your fingers and gently put that out like that okay then you're going to grab your second piece and do the same exact thing your plastic piece put it on there try to be as smooth as you can if it does it looks like it's gonna make a bubble just peel it up and stick it back down so it's flat so now you have both sides have plastic so now you want to glue them together but you don't want to glue the top because you want to be able to put in your your colored pieces and then your stem and your leaf in there and then glue it shut. So right now, you're just going to put glue everywhere but the top. And I mean everywhere when I say do that on the red part. I guess I need a new glue stick. Oh, and then I about did the top. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I'm making a mess. All right, so put both sides that you've glued your plastic then together. You're gonna wanna try to line up your apple as best as you can. Some parts might overlap and that's okay. They're, you know, one side might stick out a little bit further than the other. But see up here, now you have this opening Okay, so now you want to put your colored pieces inside of there. Oops, that's not stuck. And just drop them in there. And you can do you know, different colors at once. It, it's not going to matter because once you get it glued, that's kind of where they're going to stay. You can glue the pieces on um, before you glue them together if you want to make them more spread out. Or you can do what I'm doing and just let them go where they go. Each bag has all the same color pieces in them. All right, once we get all of those in, then you are going to want to put your leaf. Well, put a little bit of glue here at the top. That way you can, you can seal it up. Put your leaf like this. And then put your stem. Put a little bit of glue back on the green. Put 
put your stem in here like that and then put a little bit of glue on top so you can push these down together oh, and I did that a little too far see you can see it through so luckily it's not the glue is not set yet you might have to hold on to your plastic here just pick them up and move them up a little bit that way you see how I it would be better if you put them where you can't or where you can see a little bit of red there at the bottom and then seal it up Okay, so then you take your marker or your pencil or your pen, whatever you might have, maybe draw a few lines on your leaf to make it look a little bit more like a leaf does. You can even line the outside of it, to make it stand out a little bit more. Do the same thing with, with your brown stem. Okay. So now you have both put together you have your plastic in the middle, but you have all this plastic on the side. So now you need to trim off all the plastic on the side. And if you have a little bit that overlaps with the red because it didn't line up quite right, that's okay. Just leave it there or you can, you can trim it. I'm gonna leave mine because that's okay by me, but I am gonna get rid of the extra plastic. little bit of the red on that part and over here to this side all right and now you have made an apple sun catcher to put in your window thanks for watching I'll see you next time